Okay, hi there, welcome to another video from Pink Piggy. Uh, here we have a video in which this one, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to attach documents to Google um, Gmail and how to open attachments on Gmail. So, if you open up your Mozilla Firefox and it brings up your home page, you need to now go over to Gmail on the top. And once it opens Gmail, depending on how fast your internet is, you'll find, well, I've sent a new video in. So this is how to open your um, uh, attached file. So open up the email by clicking on testing. This is from myself to this email address. And it will show. So what you'd find usually is the text area in this bit. And then as you go down at the bottom of the email, just before you get to the line that allows you to reply, you'll find it will tell you. Now this is one of my invoices. It's a blank one. So you can either view it. Now you, to view it, you just click on view and it will open it by the side in another tab and it shows you it in Google. So this is one of my invoices. And if I close it, I can then download it if I wish, which is so you have it on your computer always. So you click on download and it will come up in a little box here and it will say, what would you like to open it with or would you like to save? Now I want to save it. So I click on save, so this means I'll have it forever. And I'm going to click OK. Now here it opens here. Now, it has downloaded, so I need to right click. So that's your right click on this box on the application. Now you'll find there's loads more usually. And you go open containing folder. Now this will show you what you have. Now this is uh, the item here. So I can open it from here, copy it, paste it, do whatever I like with it. Okay, now if I wanted to open it, what I do is I just double click on it. And it will open it in a PDF viewer for me here. Okay, so there you go. That is how you open an attached uh, file. Now I'm going to show you how to compose an email and attach a file. So you need to go up here and click on Compose comes up with this box here. Now first of all write who it's to. So I'm going to send it to Pink Piggy and the subject is going to be testing and I'll, um, back to you. The text is going to be hi here is a PDF of something important. Have a look. Um, Matthew. So now there are several ways on how to attach. Let's go for the easiest. The easiest one is to click on the paper to click at the bottom. So down you've got send, then you've got your formatting options, which is an A, and then you go across this little line and you've got attach. Now you can insert from the Google Drive, we'll leave that for the moment. You can insert a picture or you can insert a link, which is a link to a website. Or you can insert an emoticon, which they haven't yet sorted out. So we're going to attach a file. Now, here it's come up with all my files. So I'm going to go to my documents. I'm going to go to Pink Piggy work. And here I have invoice. Now, this is a different folder file to what I've sent to myself earlier. And you find it, find what you'd like, and click input. Now, to find stuff in here, what you can do is you click on whatever you like. Uh, so I want to go to my documents. Then I click on the folder Pink Piggy Work, and then I've got Invoice Blank. So you click Open. Now it'll come up with a little box down here that says Invoice Blank, which is the name of the file, the size of the file is in brackets, and then how much it is downloaded. Now if you want to add another folder or another file, you can click on Attach Files. Okay, yada, 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 yada. It's, it will come up with this sometimes, and I just showed you, it depends. If you have Google Drive, that's okay, otherwise maybe next time. So I'll bring up this box and I want to attach Pink Piggy invoice blank open. So now it's going to open both. Now what if I decide I don't want both of those but I just want invoice blank PDF. So what I do is I go across and I just click close and it will just stop it downloading and get rid of it. Now this is exactly what I want to send. So it's quite simple you just click on send and it comes at the top here saying sending and then it will say your message has been sent. You can view a message you sent or just continue your life. If you want to find that message that you have sent at a later date, go to sent mail. 
And here you'll see the mails that I've, cut, well, I've sent. I've sent all of them to Pink Piggy. If you look over here, the time in which I've sent them at, what time it is. Well, it's 12.02 in the morning that I've sent that last one. And there's a paperclip next to it, which means if you see a paperclip, it means that there is an attached file. Now, if you hover on it and just leave your mouse there, it will come up and tell you what that is. And according to this, it's invoiceblank.pdf. Okay, so thank you for watching. That is how you attach a file and how you open a file from Google document uh, from Google uh, Gmail um, using Mozilla Firefox. It is exactly the same in Google Chrome. Okay, thank you very much. This is Pink Piggy. Um, goodbye.